Wastewater Dan presents Wastewater Math, calculated with Excel spreadsheets. As a new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com, today's example, convert flow, cubic feet per second, CFS, to a million gallons per day, MGD. Today's problem reads, a waste stream has an average flow rate of 9.30 cubic feet per second, CFS. Calculate slash convert the waste stream flow to million gallons per day, MGD. So we have a flow rate conversion problem which uses approximately five conversion factors. So we want Excel to do all these calculations for us. So I'm just going to set up a formula um, solving for MGD and starting with CFS and putting in all of the basic elements uh, for the calculation. So for example, we'll start out with CFS, we'll multiply it, which is cubic feet per second, we'll multiply it by 7.48, and that will give us gallons per second. We multiply it by 60 to give us gallons per minute, multiply by 60 again to give us gallons per hour, multiply by 24 to give us gallons per day, and divide by a million to give us million gallons per day, or MGD. So let's just see how we put all this in an Excel spreadsheet and let Excel solve it for us. So if you come on down here and open up a blank spreadsheet, in C1 type this description, convert flow, CFS to MGD, and um, put your cursor in A1, and form it as numbers with two decimals, and go to the formula bar, type in this formula, Equal sign to open parentheses 9.3, close parentheses multiplication key, open parentheses 7.48, close parentheses multiplication key, open parentheses 60, close parentheses multiplication key, open parentheses 60, close parentheses multiplication key, open parentheses 24, two close parentheses, division key, open parentheses 1 million, close parentheses, and then press enter or the return key. And in A1, you see the answer, 6.01 MGD based on this data. So that's the answer to the problem. Now I do have one additional bonus video which reverses this process. Let's slide on down so we can see that. So if you look at the second formula, you see the um, answer to the first formula is the data in the second problem or solution. You see the answer to the second solution is the data into the first one. So this one is reversing it because we're using all the same conversion factors, but we're simply changing the math operator. So for every multiplication math operator in the first formula we're using as the division and for the division operator in the first formula we're using as multiplication. So you can see the formula, you can see the solution, you can see the URL, for the uh, bonus video as well. So I hope you found both these videos to be helpful and useful and if so please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I encourage you to participate and interact by commenting or sending me an email, you can do that through my, or asking a question, commenting, or asking a question, you can do that through my website, environmentalacademy.com. You can either fill out an email form and submit it, or you can send a message to the email address on the website. Um, in any event, come back often because I'll be publishing educational videos at least once weekly. So. Thanks for watching and see you soon.